For this recipe, you are going to need two medium sized onions, three kilos of fresh tomatoes, four grams of tomato paste, and 400 milliliters to 500 milliliters of vegetable oil. For the choice of tomatoes, you want to choose a variety that not only has less water but also less seeds. You'll see later what I mean. For the preparation, start by washing the tomatoes, then blend them when you are through. Don't forget to remove the seeds. Later you'll see me removing the seeds because my blender wasn't able to grind them. This is the part where I realized that the seeds were not ground. So I put back everything in the sink and had to remove all the seeds before grinding them once more. Now we are good. Mix, mix, mix. We want a baby food or applesauce type of texture. Still at the preparation phase, dice the onions. Here I chose the easy way out by using the blender. Pour the fresh blended tomatoes into the pot and cook at high heat till almost all the water has dried. It won't burn until all the water has evaporated. Once the water has evaporated, Add the vegetable oil and the diced onions. Let it cook for about 30 minutes. It is very important to use enough oil, otherwise your stew will have a sour taste. Don't worry, at the end we will pour out all the excess oil once the tomatoes are done. This technique that we are using is called cook frying. By frying our tomatoes we will get rid of the sour taste. For the preparation of the tomato puree, you want to add some water in order to bring it to the same consistency as the tomato on the pot once the water has evaporated. Add the tomato puree that we just mixed with water. We don't add any salt or seasoning to this stew because it's a base recipe. We want it to be as neutral as possible since we are going to use it for different dishes such as jollof rice, mince meat, meat stew, etc. From this point onwards, reduce the heat and let it cook fry. Keep an eye on it and stir every 10 to 15 minutes until the oil separates from the tomato puree. Taste the tomato puree to make sure that the raw tomato puree taste is gone. Then pour the excess vegetable oil. You will need to do this several times. Slightly shake the pot, the oil will separate from the tomato, then pour it. 
Please be patient and don't rush this process. Let it cool down. Later, store the tomato in plastic containers and follow by putting them in the freezer. I usually take the tomato out at least two hours before using it. Comment below jollof rice if you want to see a simple and easy jollof rice tutorial. Thank you very much for your attention. See you on the next video. Bye.